Tennessee at 19, they're not wasting any time. Their pick's in, too. Tampa? Tampa. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Tennessee just made well, the pick. How about, Tampa. How about Tennessee? They're not afraid to take players ahead of where the experts no. and everyone no. thinks they should. absolutely. Corey Davis, yeah. Corey Jackson. Yeah. They took the best players on their board. Uh, but I tell you what, if you're Jason Light in Tampa, you could use a tight end. Oh, there's no doubt you, you could use a tight end. You got two of them staring you right in the yeah. face. Yeah, you, you, you could, yeah. You, I, I think this is a perfect spot. If you look at the names that are on the board right now or the guys that are left, you know, he makes the absolute best sense. Uh, you, know, you talk about the player that, that people would have to deal with could help the young quarterback there. I just uh, there's just too many too many positive things about OJ Howard not to be taken. That now this is the easy part of the draft for us, right? I mean, because it's all of a sudden it's like, well, heck, he's the best player. Well, he's the best player. Well, he's the best player. This is where it's real simple. You, you, you see these teams handing in the cards real early. They they see the best players. Look at the the highlights they're showing of Dory Jackson right now. All the ball in his hand, yeah. On off. And that's yeah. what he, when he has the ball in his hands, he can be a game changer. And that's yeah. why in my report on Adoree Jackson, I mentioned that his best NFL fit might be as a Tyreek Hill type right. of player. Right. I mean, you motion him out of the backfield. You just get the ball in his hands in creative ways. Uh, what he can do as a return man. I worry about him as a corner, but he is a premier athlete who can be a game changer with the ball. You make a good point, Brian, which obviously it's it's better to pick at the beginning of the round and get the yeah, better player. Right. But if there's a silver lining of picking 28, you know, the rest of the league kind of makes your choice easier for you. you know, hopefully. Sure do. Especially if your board doesn't line up with theirs. Yeah. If they I mean, look at what I, I don't think Washington had to think that hard. And obviously, no, Tampa didn't have to think that hard about what they did either. No. Um. So. Hey, get the rest of the league to help you out and make a decision. I, and I don't, and I, and I don't think that really, you know, we, we talk about Tampa's needs: corner, free safety, strong safety, running back, linebacker, wide receiver. I mean, uh, to me, I mean, it, it, if you're just if you're taking if Jason Light's taking the best player left on his board, yeah, it makes perfect sense to take uh, OJ Howard here. Uh, that, that's just a no brainer for I, me. I, I had David Njoku uh, mocked to Tampa. Uh, but never thinking O.J. Howard would be available. So yeah. it, it just makes too much sense. I mean, it's, this is a gift. Give Jameis Winston a weapon uh, that he can play right away and impact your offense. Uh, uh, this is a gift at 19. Well, it, it's this, yeah, absolutely. If you just look at the best player, and we, we've I've said that a lot just as Tampa, and, and Tampa's got a good young team. They really, really do. And, and so the opportunity here to add a weapon – Oh, to help that that's a team you have to deal with with the wide receivers and now you deal with say a vertical if, if in fact he's the pick at 19 i mean that's a that's a vertical tight end you have to deal with, who's not a bad blocker that he actually can help him a little bit in the running game yeah absolutely so, best blocking tight end in this class right yeah that that makes a that makes a whole heck of a lot of sense oh, are we talking about adam shaheen um, i meant to uh, say among the you know i'm just kidding. among the top guys i know you love shaheen yeah, I know that's your boy. Just throw his name in the first round. Hey, <laughs> on, on the, we're not talking about him on Thursday night, but we'll talk about him tomorrow. One day when you're a GM, you one can pick day. Adam Shaheen. One day in the first round, okay, we're gonna call him. We're gonna call Dane up one day, and he's gonna go, "Who? Who are you? Who are you guys?" No, because Dane's gonna bring me on as his writer. It's gonna be great. Oh, there you go. Who are you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what All right. Well, uh, yeah, we're 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 working our way down to uh, to Dallas's pick, as you can see. A uh, war room cam, uh, the Ford, excuse me, the Ford Center war room cam is on. Uh, Jerry Jones has left uh, the table, and he's upset uh, to see a Dory gone. Yeah, I, I really think a Dory would have been the pick at yeah, twenty eight. I, I, I think so. That's too. I, I think so too. In my heart of hearts, I didn't mock a Dory this morning, but in my heart of hearts, I I kind of got the feeling that he would be the guy just based on who I thought would be there. Well, here they go. They're 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 everybody's kind of smiling. I mean, considering they. They probably lost a guy that, uh, that they wanted, but uh, there's others uh, others there. We'll okay, see. but and uh, but when we get down there, like, like I say, we have to figure out here. The flip know. side of that coin is that we're, I mean, we're still a ways away, but we're coming up on pick 20. Right. And like one guy that you really thought had a real shot to be a cowboy is gone. Yeah. And a lot can happen between 20 and 28, but... I I would feel good about where they are in terms of, you know, if you've got a short list of four or five guys that you really like at that spot, 
you still got most of them there. Yeah. So it's it's definitely not time to press the panic button. No, the not yet. And uh, as you notice on the war, uh, the Ford Center War Room cam, Todd Williams, uh, he's, again, the contracts, the football ops, talking to Stephen Jones right there. So, uh, uh, folks, uh, evidently, they're feeling pretty comfortable with Jason, <laughs> Jason Garrett. He, he reminds me so much of his dad. His dad used to sit right there and not say a word. Watch what was going on. Everything around him was kind of going a little crazy. But his, just, uh, his beverage is the same color as yeah, his hair. Yeah, exactly. He's having a nice iced tea there. But uh, anyway, Will McClay, Chris Hall, they're all just uh, at, uh, checking it out. Okay, well, they're going to check out here the Tampa Bay's pick at 119. With the 19th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select O.J. Howard. There you go. Tight end. Alabama. I mean that was that was an easy one to forecast. Uh, it was just the the need, the the talent, and what's available. It just matched up perfectly. Uh, I mean, you, you give Jameis Winston some help on that offense. Uh, at 19, I just I didn't think he'd get this far, but you know, good for the Bucks to get him. Oh, also, he's not going to be a New York Giant, which I think should relieve Cowboy fans everywhere, personally. So you're happy about that? I, I, he's. It was kind of like last year, you know, back in the early going when we didn't know exactly where Zeke was going. Everybody was saying, Zeke to the Eagles, oh, God, we're going to have to stop this guy for the next decade. Well, I had visions of that with O.J. Howard for sure, especially for the remainder of Eli Manning's career. So, uh, you know, the Cowboys, yeah, go, go play in Tampa, O.J. Howard. Don't play the Cowboys twice a year. I don't. <laughs> you, you can ask Jason Light. I, I, I the first words out of his mouth in the post draft press conference should be, "I never thought in a million years he would get to us." I mean, I really think that's uh, that, that's the truth. But he, he, there he was for him, and uh, surprised it took him so long to get the card in. Yeah, well, uh, really nice job. I mean, it really not a not a thing that we did thought as a a team need, but just again, you start talking about who's the players on the board. You know, I mean, that's your uh, who's the best players and. And so clearly, you know, O.J. Howard, one of those guys. So uh, uh, congratulations to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think grabbing a, a hell of a football player.